All right, today we'll be talking about angles of elevation and depression. An angle depression is an angle under, an angle below the horizon. So if the horizon is looking like this, so if you were to look straight out, straight ahead, and then you look down, that angle that your eyes make would be making a depression angle. Okay, now angles of elevation is you looking up from the horizon. So in other words, you looking up from the ground, doing that type of stuff. And a, um, there's a certain type of tool, trichometer, ooh, I think I butchered that word, that you can actually look up, or I, th I think it's also called it, I don't know, not, it's, not that. Uh, a trichotomer, yeah, a trichotomer in which you can look up and find the angle of elevation or the angle of depression. Okay, now what you're going to be doing mainly is drawing pictures to solve trig problems, and I'm going to show you some typical ones that show up so you can actually solve them pretty easily. Okay, so let's go to the next slide. All right, now let's say that your angle of elevation is 35 degrees and you're trying to find the height to a cliff. Uh, let's say for some reason you know that a rope tied from your feet to the top of the cliff is a thousand feet worth of rope. That's a really large rope. Okay, well, how high is the cliff and how far do you have to walk to get there to start climbing up this rope? Okay, so if we know that this is a thousand feet, okay, and it depends on if we want to solve for x or y first, we would use trig to actually get there. So once again, you would have to use Sokotoa. Okay, to actually help you out. Okay, so let's say we wanted to find the actual height first. So the height first, we're going to notice is opposite of 35 degrees. Now, if you'd like, you can mess around and go, well, I know if I know that's a right triangle, I know that that's going to be not 65. Jeez, Louise, one, two, 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 55. There we go. Whew. I almost didn't do my math. I almost did a compliment instead of an actual. Uh, complementary angle. Okay, so 35 plus 55 is 90. So you could actually sum it up that way. So I could solve this by using, uh, I'm going to use y and I'm going to use 35. Okay, and if I'm going to use y and 35, I'm also going to probably use the only number given in the problem. Okay, so if that's a thousand and this is 35 and this is opposite of the 35, I'm going to use the only two that I have, and it's opposite over hypotenuse, since this is a hypotenuse. Okay, so I'm going to have sine of 35 is equal to uh, y divided by 1,000. Okay, all right, and I'm going to solve this for y. Now, if you notice, it's y divided by 1,000, so if I times both sides by 1,000, All right, I will be able to actually get the calculation I need. Now you do need to make sure that your calculator is in degrees, okay, or desmos, whichever one you're using. All right, and you can actually find the height of that cliff is going to be y equals 573.57 feet. All right, and that's actually kind of cool that you can use trig to indirectly measure something and just work with it that way. Kind of like that problem with the mirror that you put it at your feet and then you look up to see the top of an object. Okay, now if we needed to find x, you could do it a multitude of ways. Now y could have also been found out, and let me just show you this real fast before I move on, by doing cosine of 55 equals y divided by a thousand. Okay, and once again if you do times by a thousand on cosine of 55 equals y, you should get the same exact number. So that's actually kind of cool that you can do a problem two different ways and get the same answer. Okay, now uh, to get x, I'm probably going to use sine again just because it's the easiest. Or actually, no, I'm going to use cosine because I'm going to use what's given to me. Unless you write this here, this won't be no. So this is cosine, that's adjacent, and this is hypotenuse. So those are the only two that have adjacent and hypotenuse. So cosine of 35 is equal to x divided by 1,000. Okay, and so if I do 1,000 times cosine of 35, that should equal x. And you can quickly go back to your calculator and type over sine and get 819.15 feet. Okay. Now the same could also be arrived to if I did sine of 55 
equals x divided by 1,000. And then I times both sides by 1,000. And I could get the same exact answer as 819.15 feet. Okay, now let's say that you were at the top of a cliff and you knew the angle of depression was 15 degrees and you were looking at someone down here waving, hi, how's it going, how's the top of the cliff? Oh, it's great, oh, it's great. I'm just looking down at an angle of 15 degrees to you. Why do you have a trichotomer? I don't know, I just had it. But anyways, I digress, that, tan that tangential, ooh, nice pun. I will see myself out, just like Jimmy Fallon and Higgins on The Tonight Show. Okay, uh, in other words, your angle of degree, your angle of depression is going to be 15 degrees. Now, if you notice, there's no angles inside of the triangle, except this 90, and you're like, what do I do? Well, if you remember to your rules, this line, the horizon, is parallel with the ground. And if I use alternate interior angles, I know that this is going to be also 15 degrees. Now, I could also do some logic and go, well, if this is 15 degrees and I'm looking straight out, then this has to add up to 90 because it makes a 90 degree angle because this is, you know, perpendicular and stuff. And so this would be 75 degrees. Okay? And as you can see, you can use it one or two ways. The, the, the same idea both ways. Okay, now I'm going to use uh, this 15 degrees and this 7.6 to find this height right here. Now if you notice, this is opposite and adjacent. And the only one that has that is tangent. Okay. So tangent of 15 is equal to... Uh, opposite is y divided by 7.6 meters. Okay. All right, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 7.6 uh, times tangent of 15 is equal to y. Make sure your calculator is in degrees. And that person, actually, you're very close to not being far off the ground 2.04 meters it's not very high that's probably the height of a average uh, a tall person okay so that's a good thing that you can talk to them all right okay and everything's all set up to actually have you figure out if you were to get out your cool spy gun and shoot down a wire and slide down that wire to your friend you could figure out how much wire you needed by uh, using some more trig, okay? But that's it for using angles of elevation and angles of depression. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.